Kristen. I'm here today to share with you eight study hacks I have to make your studies more efficient. Before I get into that, let me tell you a little bit about my background. I've worked as an independent private tutor since 2010. I went to the Georgia Institute of Technology and I studied business administration with a concentration in IT management. I worked as an analyst for about two years after college. Now I work full time as an independent private tutor. I love learning. In college, I actually taught a computer science class for about two of the years while I was there. Let's get into my study hacks now. Study hack number one is to make your own flashcards. Using other people's flashcards and pre-designed flashcards is a really great place to start, but it is not the place that you should end. You should go through all of your notes and make your own flashcards based out of all of your notes. And the process of having to decide what will go on the front of each flashcard, what will go on the back of each flashcard, how you're going to paraphrase things and write things in an efficient way will cause you to save that information in your long-term memory in your brain. My next study hack is to make what I like to call a cheat sheet. Now this is not for cheating. Don't cheat. This cheat sheet is one sheet of printer paper where you use colored pens or colored pencils and you write out all of your notes onto one sheet of paper. Uh, now this means that you can't literally write all your notes, but you want to write down all of the most important information. This requires going through all of your notes and deciding which pieces of information to write, how to write them more efficiently, and how to write them really tiny so that you can fit it all on one sheet of paper. Like the making of your own flashcards, this process will signal to your brain to save this information in your long-term memory because it's important. My third tip for how to make your studying more efficient is to verbalize what you're studying. Once you've gone through your notes, talk out loud through them. Read a page of notes and then try to verbalize it without looking at it. This talking through of the notes will, like the first two tips I gave you, signal to your brain to save that information in your long-term memory, and that's the goal of studying. My fourth tip is to visualize the information that you're studying by making doodles, drawing symbols, or making diagrams or charts, or even drawing maps, whatever makes sense for the content that you're studying. Combining visualization of this information with the verbalization that you've done with the first hacks will signal to your brain to save this in your long-term memory. This is because visualization is very, very helpful for remembering things, especially when you're creating your own visuals and you're having to think to yourself about how to draw something. That helps you remember it. All of the hacks I've given you so far have been surrounding signaling to your brain to save something in your long-term memory. Now, something you should know is for your brain to save something in your long-term memory, you have to go to sleep at night and get a pretty good night's sleep. When we're sleeping, our brain goes through all of the information that it processed that day and it decides what to keep and what to get rid of. This process is how we're going to hack our brains to make our studies more efficient. By engaging actively with the material through making flashcards, making cheat sheets, verbalizing it, drawing it out, you can save this information in your long-term memory. So you need to study over the course of multiple days and get a good night's sleep each night, or at least a few hours of sleep if you can't get a good night's sleep. My next tip is to try to be curious. School can be boring, I know, but if you cultivate curiosity, meaning wonder things about the material, ask yourself questions about why things are the way they are, how things might be different if we changed one or two variables, things like that, you'll develop a more genuine interest in the subject. My final tip for making your studies more efficient is to, before you start studying, make a plan for your studies. Look at everything that's gonna be on the test, figure out about how much time you're gonna be able to devote to each topic, because realistically, you only have so much time to study and stick to that schedule. Once you run out of time, move on to the next topic. This will ensure that you study everything you need to study instead of getting stuck on that one thing you think is really hard. Because it's the worst when you get to the night before the test and you still have half the material to cover. 
it makes it so you feel like it's not even worth it sometimes. So create a steady schedule and stick to that schedule so you can be more efficient. Okay, those are my eight study hacks. I hope you found them helpful. Have a nice day.